What do you think is the greatest threat to planet Earth from space? Asteroids. Asteroid strikes. Yeah, and we're, we're practicing how to deflect them. The DART mission from NASA worked, worked out pretty well. We, we feel pretty proud about slamming into an asteroid, altering its orbit, so that if you get good enough at that, you can deflect an asteroid that otherwise has us in its targets. But that's the single greatest threat. We plow through several hundred tons of meteors a day. A day. Wow. Most of them are small and they burn up in the atmosphere occasion and as shooting stars. Occasionally they're big and very dangerous and they render things extinct. The best preserved crater in the world is in Arizona. Uh, it's nearly a mile across. You all still remember miles, right? It's fun to say nearly a mile across. Them, yeah, yeah. You all came up with it, right? So somebody somebody ought to remember what a mile is across the pond. A mile across, 62-story building could be buried under the depth of the crater. And that was just 50,000 years ago. And we, as far as we know, not much went extinct then. But oh my gosh, if you were around at that time, that would have been quite the spectacle. The solar system is a shooting gallery. And it's not just stuff hitting us from way long ago. Anytime they show paintings of dinosaurs there's like a volcano and there's you know stuff no the dinosaurs were only like 100 million years ago earth has been around for four and a half billion so 100 million is like yesterday there's still plenty of junk that can fall into earth and kill us so for me that's the greatest existential threat and what i worry about most is that 100 years ago that wasn't even on the list <laughs> So I, I lose sleep. But what was on the list then? Well, you might die from tuberculosis, you know, yeah, or whatever. And, it's a, and I, I wonder what's going to be on the list 100 years from now that we don't even know is an existential threat. How good are we at, at spotting asteroids? I mean, there's a big discussion about how good we are at deflecting them once we've seen them. But, but right, right. how much of a, of a grasp do we have on where they there's are and, and when they're threatening us? That the good fact is the bigger the asteroid, the easier it is to detect. That's good. Because the bigger ones will do more damage. So that's a good thing. So we can say with some confidence that there are no asteroids above a kilometer in diameter that hold Earth at risk any time in the foreseeable future. But as you go to smaller and smaller asteroid sizes, there are many more of them. So they're harder to track. They're harder to discover. They're not as bright. And so... So we're not worrying about a species-ending asteroid. We're worried about one that will take out a, a grid. One will take out all of the UK? Yes, that can happen. But civilization survives it. You know, one that will take out uh, not so much all of France, all of Liechtenstein? Yes. Yes. One that will hit in the ocean and take out a coastal city from a tsunami? Yes. So, but they're not extinction-level episodes. They're none large enough, in spite of what Hollywood will otherwise tell you, they're none big enough to accomplish that goal. Did you enjoy that clip? You must have done at least a little bit because you made it to the end. Well, guess what? There's more. You can watch the full video that that clip was taken from by clicking the link that just appeared on your screen. Or click just below it for some assorted Within Reason podcast content. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.